What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Rolls to Fitness. So I did promise you guys a weigh-in. I know it's been a while since I've recorded. I think my last video was released on Sunday of last week. I did get really sick. So what I've decided to do, instead of just going into what I said I was gonna do the very next day, I have been doing a detox, and I am doing a natural detox. Um, it's just basically eight ounces of water to half a squeezed lemon. I'm doing that in the morning uh, when I first wake up before I do anything else. And I'm also doing that at night before bed. It's been working out really well for me. And I mean, it's working extremely well. So just keep in mind that if you're gonna be doing that natural detox, make sure you're around the bathroom. <laughs> That's all I'll say about that. Anyways, moving right along with the video. So today's weigh-in, okay? Um, it is the morning time. I know you're supposed to weigh yourself like as soon as you get up and you know, you probably shouldn't eat breakfast, that sort of thing, but it's okay. It's only gonna add a couple of extra pounds. I'm also fully clothed. So we're talking about breakfast weight plus the weight of the clothes, maybe eight or 10 pounds added to it. So we'll take that away. So I did weigh myself yesterday morning um, without any clothes. Uh, I did it completely, you know, naked. Of course, I can't do that for you guys here on YouTube. So um, I just wanted to at least show you guys where I'm starting it. So I guess we'll go ahead and do that. Don't mind my video game there. Let's go ahead and get this thing calibrated and we will stand. All right, as y'all can see, we're looking at about 410.6 pounds. So just like I told you guys, we got a budget for about 10 pounds for the clothes plus my breakfast this morning. And I weighed myself yesterday morning and I was right at 400.6 pounds. This right here, these are beads. That jar is full of beads. This jar is empty. And the reason for that is, it's kind of like an emotional support, like visual type thing. So you can literally see yourself dropping pounds. So there is 225 beads in that jar. Given my weight, that means I'm trying to get down to about 165, 170. But I technically don't want to go any less than 200. I'll see how I look when I get there. Now guys, I know that's a lot of weight left over, but please keep in mind, I am not the average size woman, okay? Um, I think the average size of women here in the United States is like five feet, four inches. But me, I'm a full blown 72 inches tall. That is the equivalent of six feet. So I'm a really tall woman. So 200 pounds, is not gonna look like 200 pounds on me. I do have a coworker who is the exact same height as me and she is 177 pounds and she looks a little thin. Now guys, I do like my thickness. I don't wanna get too thin. I'll see what it looks like once I get to 200 pounds and then I'll drop down if I feel like I need more because my suggested weight for my height uh, is between 160 to 177 pounds. So we'll see what we look like when we get there. Let's go ahead and get past that. Um, I'm about to go ahead and hit the grocery store because I'm gonna be showing you guys basically my weekly meals. All right, see you guys in a minute. Okay guys, so I'm in my car now and I'm about to go ahead and hit the grocery store. Um, I do have a little list that I'm gonna be following. I'm gonna share that list with you guys. But of course, I won't be able to talk to you while I'm driving. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to the grocery store when I make it there. I'll cut this thing back on so you can see me picking up my items and I will meet you guys back at the house. So yeah, stay tuned. I'll see you guys in just a little bit. All right guys, so I finally made it back to the house and let me tell y'all this afternoon or this morning was a struggle. So I got a receipt seat around here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Let me get this camera turned around so I can show you guys a receipt. I'm also set this up. I think it'd be a little bit easier for me to have two hands versus just one. All right, so now that I got it set up, let me go ahead and show you guys what I got. Um, This is this is my receipt, first of all. Uh, remember, I did tell you guys that I was going to go to Kroger just so I can make this a little bit more uh, relatable because my normal places that I like to shop, uh, like Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, Fresh Market, Sprout, and honestly, I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to do this whole Kroger thing because a lot of the things that I eat uh, specifically weren't there. It was really hard to find. Like I ended up getting a lot of um, stuff that I'm not used to buying. Like for instance, I got this artisan water. I got this artisan water by Simply Truth because they only had one pack 
of the essential order. Let me just kind of go over this with you guys. So my grand total came up to $105.71 for one week of food for that. That's for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It was actually slightly cheaper than that because there's wine on here. It's not for me, guys. It's not for me. So there was a $10 bottle of wine. And then there's some stuff you definitely could have cut corners on. I know most people don't care about the the, the water they drink, but I'm super into alkaline water and regardless of what anybody tells me, I'm telling you, it does not taste the same as regular bottled water. So the essential water plus the artisan water from here was $15. And then also I will only eat sockeye salmon. I don't really care for uh, Atlantic caught salmon, that type of thing. I'm into the wild Alaskan sockeye salmon. So that one drove up the price too. But if you just had gotten the regular salmon and gotten a regular case of water and omitted the wine, this would have been about, I think I calculated up to $27 cheaper. So we're talking about 80, 82 bucks for a week worth of food for one person. All right. So let me just go ahead and go over what you, what I got. As I mentioned before, I did buy a salmon, a sockeye salmon filet. This is gonna be good for probably five or six servings. And I also bought chicken breast. Now, guys, I actually don't like chicken breast, okay? I'm gonna be real. It's It sometimes can be really dry, but I did pick up a little tip for you guys. I'm also sorry about the overhead light right here. Um, I'm, like I told you guys earlier, I'm really tall, so I'm trying to stay in the camera to kind of block it off a little bit. But I got the chicken tender. And the reason I got the chicken tender is because it's a little bit more tender than the actual chicken breast itself. And I don't know why that is, but I've learned over the years cooking chicken tender versus chicken breast, uh, even though they're both white meat, this one's a little more tender. So the sockeye salmon was $15.78. These were $5.62. I also got some ground turkey and this is three pounds of ground turkey and this thing was $7.99. I could not find any organic ground turkey. So like I said, guys, I don't know how long this whole Kroger thing is gonna last, but I'm doing it for you guys as long as I can. I found some Simply Truth, the 18 pack of organic large brown eggs. I got some rice, guys. This is um, brown rice, so it's only got 170 calories per serving at a quarter cup, which is all you should be eating anyways when it comes to the carbs that you're putting in. Um, and this only has 33 grams of carbs per serving. I picked up some tuna. I have not had tuna in a can in a while. Uh, the tuna we buy comes in a, uh, a jar. So I guess that's another Kroger thing, trying to keep it light. I got some broccoli. Uh, I tried to find broccolini. I actually uh, prefer broccolini over broccoli, but that was a no-go at Kroger as well. I found some sweet corn. Um, this stuff right here, there was no organic brand. Sorry, trying to get that to focus. There was no organic brand, but I figured this was better than canned goods because you know it's less sodium when it's freshly frozen. Um, I got some sweet potatoes. These are just regular sweet potatoes. There's no other added ingredients. It is just literally pre-prepped uh, sweet potatoes, already cut. Um, I got some cilantro, an onion. Guys, this is magical. I went on ahead and picked up some virgin coconut oil cold pressed unrefined. This is supposed to be like one of the healthiest oils that you can cook in. It's 120 calories per serving. Uh, that's a tablespoon, it's like 28 servings in this jar. But that's what I got there. So I'll be cooking all my meals in this. I grabbed some baby carrots and some hummus uh, for my snacks. I also got some avocados, some lemons because I am detoxing and I will continue to drink the lemon water uh, throughout my diet. And the reason for that, guys, I don't know if you know, but lemon water is extremely beneficial to anyone who's on a diet. So if you're gonna do the lemon water, remember it's just eight ounces of warm or cold water, however you like it, with half of a squeezed lemon, okay? Uh, I got some garlic. This garlic makes everything taste better. Now for my seasoning of choice, I will be seasoning pretty much all my vegetables and meats with this. Um, like this salmon, I am gonna do a little more to it because I like my salmon to taste a certain type of way, but I got this Goya. This is like, they're kind of Mrs. Dash, I guess. I don't really like the flavor of Mrs. Dash. And honestly, it's not ground up fine enough for me. So um, I usually to get the Goya complete seasoning or um, the, I think it's body a complete seasoning, but all of it's uh it's all Latina stuff. So Latino, Latino, sorry, I don't wanna, you know, make anybody uncomfortable. I got some zucchini here for those to go with the roasted sweet potatoes. Um I got two tomatoes and I got an apple. 
and I got some some oats and the reason I picked up oats is because um I'm gonna be doing overnight oats I love that stuff I absolutely love that stuff so guys let me just go ahead and do a full pan for y'all real quick give me one second so that's everything I picked up my entire haul all right there as you guys can see again I said all this stuff cost me uh, 105 dollars but there was some extra stuff added like wine and whatnot the wine is not mine again it's not mine uh can't have that on this side that i'm going to be doing and uh if you need to know what i got i will leave a link in the description below um with all of the grocery items at this point the only thing that's going to be left is to cook all this stuff which i'm going to have fun with that and i am going to show you guys how i cook this stuff and how i prep it for the week so just stay tuned for that that'll be the next video so that is going to be all for today thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video make sure you click that like button and if you didn't like it that's okay you can definitely thumbs it down at least leave me some constructive criticism down in the comments below so so that I can post stuff that you all will watch. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and also hit that notification bell so you know when I post next. Uh, it's been a great day. Thank you guys so much for joining me on Rose to Fitness. I will see you next time.